Welcome everyone. Welcome back to Orchids for Dummies. I am Foul Pal Darrell. And if this is your first time to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Ring the bell so you will be notified. Okay, and like this video because in today's video, I am going to share a couple of Phalaenopsis care tips that will help you keep your orchids in water 24 seven without getting any mold, but you gotta stay tuned. Welcome on back, foul pals. Now welcome to my kitchen indoor grow space. You will see that I do have a few Phalaenopsis orchids grown in the method of water culture. Now, you want to know how I am keeping my Phalaenopsis orchids in water 24 7 without getting any mold. Well, Fell Pals is going to be all about keeping a clean environment, okay? Making sure I am rinsing off the roots, I don't use tap water. I make sure that when I start to see ooey and gooey, that I go ahead and eliminate the corporate, such as that rotten root right there. Even though it's rotten, you don't see any ooey and gooey. You will see what I'm talking about um, a little bit later. Another thing is the base of the Phalaenopsis orchid, okay, the stem of the plant, if you will, I do not keep it submerged in water, okay? I don't do it. I don't do it and you should not do it either. Now, let me let you see the orchids that's in the window because orchids that are under high light will sometimes often collect algae. And that algae is predominantly because I collect my rainwater from right off of the roof. So it's collecting sediments and algae along the way. So as you can see, a lot of algae is inside of my pots. But I'm going to eliminate the algae by cleaning out my orchids in water culture, rinsing off their roots, okay, and making sure that I am giving them fresh rainwater. Now, I am going to experiment using charcoal, but that's a whole different video that you will have to stay tuned. Welcome on back, Fail Pals. As you can see, the algae has really taken over. Now, the algae alongside with coming from the sediments off of my roof with the rainwater, I also use aquarium water. So the water from the aquarium, okay, the compost from the fish, if you will, is a natural fertilizer that I use for my orchids growing in water culture. I will leave them in fish amusion no longer than a week, okay? And like I said, make sure to rinse off those roots. Make sure to rinse them off. Now, as you can see, each of my orchids have different amounts of algae. But what you are not seeing is mold. White mold or black mold. And that's because, like I said, no slicing and dicing unless absolutely necessary. No adding herbs and spices unless absolutely necessary necessary okay when it starts to discolorate your entire setup when you have bottom leaves falling off drastically um, those are going to be indications that you are struggling with mold I have even experienced okay fungus nets okay growing inside of my orchids in water stay tuned even this flower stalk yes honey yes honey once it has turned brown, when you're dealing with water culture, you wanna go ahead and cut it off because if you don't, you're going to get black mold, white mold. It's gonna it's gonna come. So make sure that you are doing the right thing. Stay tuned. Okay, Fal Pal. So um, one of the things that I've noticed about the Phalaenopsis orchids is they like their roots to hang. So anytime you have them in a glass container, okay, and the roots are, you know, um, touching the bottom, that is going, and especially if the vape, 
the base of the Phalaenopsis, if it's too submerged in water, that's going to cause rot, black mold, white mold, millibugs, <laughs> you name it. Hey, welcome back, fail pals. So taking a look at this Vanda right here, it has absorbed all of the water, but a Phalaenopsis, you could not do it in the same setup. I'm not even sure if you can do it with a Vanda. <laughs> I'm still experimenting with Vandas in water culture, but um, you definitely would not be able to do this with the Phalaenopsis orchids. So keep that in mind, trying to rid yourself of white mold, black mold, okay? Growing orchids in water 24-7. Stay tuned. Now, fell pals, keep in mind, honey, like a drop of water. Make sure that you do not leave water on your leaves. Make sure you're checking the crowds. But as you can see, that um, old flower spike and this um, decaying matter from an old leaf, those are actually what fungus nests eat on, and as well as fungus will grow from it. So make sure that you are doing your orchid maintenance state. So last but definitely not least is sometimes I even have orchids sitting in the water for so long that they drink up majority of the water. Such as this Vanda, such a thirsty orchid. So thirsty, girl, you're so thirsty. That is a Phalaenopsis in the bag that I have recently added to the method of water culture. Now, remembering when you start to slice and dice and add herbs and spices to give that orchid a day or two to close up those wounds naturally. That's what you wanna do. That's what you wanna do. So, fail pals, if you have any more questions about white mold, black mold, growing on your orchids in the method of water culture, stay tuned. Okay, fail pals, now in the fall, winter season, especially with Phalaenopsis orchids, you are most definitely going to deal with snow mold. Now, I will make a video so you would have a definitive way to be able to tell snow mold from a salt buildup. Snow mold is going to be fluffy as a salt buildup would look like, you know, salt, crystallized, sugar, okay, things of that nature. Now, I have a whole video showing you how to clean up white mold, okay? I will leave it in a video car above and don't forget to like this video baby it's hard out there for a pimp like you it. see all of this white crust on the top layer of this moss well foul pals this is not going to be snow mold okay this is going to be a salt buildup known as leftover fertilizer okay so foul pals another way that i'm able to keep my phalaenopsis orchids in water 24 hours without contracting any type of mold is also make sure you have good ventilation okay get some good ventilation going for yourself girl now these orchids have roots that will rot away from time to time now by pulling off the outer coating which is velamen that's what we call it Pulling it off instead of cutting the entire root will give you the opportunity for your phalaenopsis to still absorb water and possibly take in nutrients, okay, without it having to um, eliminate its leaves to produce new roots, okay? So you want to do that. Another tip, major consideration is making sure that the stem of the plant is not black, I know that this one is not the prettiest in color, but I assure you, making sure that it's clean enough, okay? Do the best you can, and it might be several applications. I will leave a video link of the video teaching you how to get rid of black mold, okay, and white mold off your orchids. But once you completely do it, it will, you know, make it a clean environment. This been in here two weeks. A clean environment for your orchid to grow beautiful new roots in. Well, fair pals, I thank you. I thank you for watching. And I hope that you have a happy growing. Until next time.